you got to. Chicago, this place much more dangerous. You fucking planning me? You're gonna get the motherfucker that did this, because if you don't get him, you next. Call in another meeting with me. We got a new business venture. If you take Lil' K out now, you will have a mutiny on your hands. Help us bring down CBI and Tommy Egan. Was it Claudia that shot my friend? Tommy Egan, he's this close. If I get an out that you pulled the trigger on Liliana. In 12 hours, episode three of Power Book 4 Force airs, and let me tell you, this season is in the right direction, and I'm gonna keep saying this until they show us otherwise. Well, we have a lot on our plate when it comes to the episode three, and today we're gonna be breaking down our last thoughts and what's gonna happen. Tommy, CBI, Jannard, Treason, the Cartel, and the Serbs. It looks like it's gonna be a lot of action, and we know in episode two, Tommy basically inserted himself into a war because he is trying to take over. Now, before we jump into this and give my last thoughts and predictions about episode three, if you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions like this, then hit your subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Every subscriber counts. We're on that road to 50,000 subscribers. And if you don't see this at 100 likes, hit that like button for me. Now, episode three, everyone has a vice. Everyone also has someone chasing after them. And how can everyone escape? Because we know over here on my channel, you can run, but you can't hide. And with Tommy Egan in the city, it only gets worse. Tommy's confronting Jannard about who shot at him in the Mustang. Now we know that it was Little K. Little K made the block hot. He killed the young girl. And everyone right now has to get on the right page because feds are involved, DeFranco is involved, and Tommy wants revenge. Now you have to remember, on top of getting revenge for who shot at him, in the Mustang, he's trying to get revenge on whoever killed Liliana. So now he has issues with treason and he also has issues with the Flynn family. Not to mention, he started the war between the Serbs and the cartel because he set it all up. So for Tommy, he needs to lay low with the feds, Stacy Marks and his new task force on the scene, DeFranco getting information in the streets about Chewy, and now Little K potentially talking to the police. It's gonna be hell for Tommy. Now, I recommend Tommy getting rid of this Mustang in this episode and trying to find another means of transportation because sometimes getting revenge actually hurts you. The opening scene in episode two and the ending scene of episode two all starred Bobby DeFranco. Now, Detective DeFranco is on the scene. How long is he gonna last throughout the season? I got some information for you guys. I don't think he's gonna make it. Someone's gonna have to pay him a visit or in the words of Tommy, cancel Christmas. Now he's getting closer and what we've seen in the trailer is now that his investigation is starting to get more intensive. He's talking to Little K. Little K is directly connected to Jannard and he's also connected to the shooting and killing of the little girl. Now what DeFranco wants from him is information on treason or if he can get information on Tommy Egan. But right now he's just looking into treason because he doesn't know too much about Tommy Egan. But with DeFranco being connected with Stacey Marks, if she gives him any information, this is gonna open up the investigation even wider than what it is because he's on the streets. Stacey Marks is doing all the admin work behind the scenes. So I believe that DeFranco, he's gonna really get close to cracking this. In episode three, I think this is where he's gonna discover even more evidence to link everything. Or Little K could be given information. My prediction for Little K is he's not going to say anything when DeFranco comes. Now he's going to probably consider it and he might even give up a little bit of information but not enough to have anyone arrested. Now in the trailer we do see Jannard pull a gun on him. Now if he pulls the gun on him before he talks to DeFranco then of course we let him go. But if it's after I really do believe that Little K is going to be alive and Jannard will turn him over to Tommy just so Tommy will leave treason alone. Because remember, Jannard told Little K not to do any of this. But this also makes me believe if they let him survive, he will end up giving information up because no one wants to die in these streets. And he already sensed that maybe Jannard isn't loyal to us because he didn't want to do nothing about Chewie getting killed. So I believe that he's going to stay alive, but Jannard is going to turn him over to Tommy. As far as the Flynn family goes, I could see Walter talking to Claudia and telling her, you need to stop messing with Doyle because what we've seen as of lately, Vic is telling all the information. Vic already told his dad that she was the one that was running Dahlia. Now, remember, Walter wants Vic back in the organization. 
Vic said he won't work with him unless he gets rid of Claudia. So he's probably telling Claudia, hey, we can't work with you. But if you're going to be a part of this family, you need to give us some information on Doyle since you're sleeping with him. Even though Walt doesn't like her, he's probably going to use his daughter to his advantage to try to get out of the situation and make sure that the Flynn family doesn't lose anything. But Walter, his back's against the wall and he kind of has to depend on his children because without them, he doesn't have any muscle. He doesn't have any brains. So he needs his children, even though he believes he doesn't. He really knows, hey. I got to figure out one way to get Victor work with me and Claudio on my page. So right now he's putting together the chess pieces and he's going to make a move eventually. Tommy's going to be very active this episode. Liliana revenge, whoever shot at him revenge, he's going to be going at it with everybody. Now they show him shooting somebody here asking questions. So this is either the Serbs or is part of the Flynn family. Now I don't think it's the Flynn's quite certain, but it could be because he's still trying to find out who killed Liliana and he knows it has something to do with them. But Mirkovich has also been going at Tommy to try to get the land back in the territory that Jannar promised him. So Tommy, I can see him catching two to three bodies this episode with about five bodies total. When he's in that all black, you might as well give him the answers because it's like Batman interrogating you. There's no way you're making out of this unless you give up some value. With Tommy being active, we know the play that he did with the cartel and the Serbs, started up the war, stole the cartel's work, and then he goes back in this episode and he tells Miguel, I got a new little mission that we can do. So Tommy is very, very brave, but he wants to prove a point that he is capable of running the cartel and he wants to be the connect in Chicago. Even if that means stealing from the cartel and moving their own product with the help of the cartel. Tommy is devious, Tommy is risky, but we know one thing about Tommy. The show is called Force, and he's going to force his way into power one way or another. So you can either get with Tommy or get rolled over. But this plan right here with Miguel and the cartel is going to work. And the Estrada family, they're going to be looking at it. Now, Grandma, she might not like it. But Estrada, as long as product is being moved, he's going to appreciate it because he doesn't care who it is. White, black, yellow, green is the only color that he recognizes. G-R-E-E-N. All right, let me know where you think I'm right or where I'm wrong with the predictions for episode three. Also, how many bodies do you think are dropping by the hands of Tommy Egan? Let me know what you think. I'm Moda J. Make sure you tune in tonight, 1 a.m. Eastern, right after the episode for the first reaction for episode three of Power Book 4 Force. My name is Moda J. I appreciate each one of you. I'm on that road to 50,000 subscribers. Again, if you like this kind of content, Hit that like button if you don't see it at 100 likes and hit that subscribe button. Road to 50,000. Thanks for watching. I'm out.